Hi guys, welcome back to Nebula Fox Toy Reviews. Today we're back with Jurassic World and we are looking at this guy. This is the Hammond Collection Carnotaurus. Now this figure has been out for a while now. Um, this came out last year and was on a lot of people's top 10 uh, lists for last year. Uh, but I've, I am only getting around to reviewing it now. Uh, I have only recently managed to acquire this figure, so hence why my review of it is coming out now, <laughs> rather than when the figure was actually released. But the Hammond Collection figures are actually pretty hard to find in the UK, like there's no retailer where we can just go to the shop and buy them, like what, in America? So we have to order them online and they're often more expensive, so yeah well. Let's head on over to the review table then and get a closer look at this awesome Carnotaurus figure. Okay, so here we are. Here is the figure and its box. And first and foremost, we will take a quick look at the box. So this has been lying empty in my room for quite some time now. And it's a bit dusty. So once I have done this review, this box is going in the bin. Because I pretty much with the Hammond collections, I open them straight away, save the box so I can review it, and then throw the box. So here is the front of it. Looks like a big shipping crate for the dinosaur. So we've got an embossed T-Rex logo up here with the Hammond collection. We've got a nice picture of the Carnotaurus down there with Carnotaurus. And Mattel. On this side, we have a really nice image of the figure itself with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom logo, because that is the film this dinosaur is from. On this side, we've just got Hammond Collection. On the top, we've got an embossed T-Rex and some more detailing of a shipping crate. And on the back, we have some more um, shots of the dinosaur. So we've got some, yep, two, well, one full body, one just missing the tail, and one that's zooming on the eyes to show the glass eye. Uh, content, so Carnotaurus, contents, uh, one dinosaur, uh, assembly required. On the bottom, we have a lot of words. So, that can go down on the floor, into the rubbish pile. And here is the Carnotaurus itself. The first thing I will say about this figure is I was surprised at how hollow it was. It is it's hollow. I thought it had been a bit more solid, like the other Hammond collection figures, but no, it's it it it's pretty it's pretty hollow. But it's still a really cool figure. The hollowness actually helps it balance a little bit with it being lighter. So let's get a closer look at it. So we've got some really nice detailing up on the head. I don't know if you'll actually be able to see the glass eye working. Oh, there we go. There's the pupil. So if I just move the head around ever so slightly, you can see the glass eye. So it always looks like the figure is looking at you. So the glass eye, I feel like the glass eye works pretty well on the Carnotaurus compared to the T-Rex. So it's like they've improved it a little bit for the Carno. And then they went backwards again because they used it on smaller figures like the Dimetrodon and Blue. So, we've got really nice detailing on the face. And if I open the mouth, we've got really nice detailing on the inside of the mouth as well. All done in the nice fleshy pink tone. The teeth are a separate piece, as you can see here. I can move it. So, they're not painted. They're moulded in this soft rubbery white plastic which means they won't uh, get any paint rub going uh, going forward. Going all the way down, we've got this base colour of this like reddy colour with dark, dark brown, almost black uh, patterning going all the way down it, stopping about halfway down um, towards the tip of the tail. The arms are unpainted. Let me bring the arms forward a little bit. The arms are unpainted, which is unfortunate, and we also don't have painted hand claws, which is also unfortunate. 
because one of the things the Hammond collection had going for it was the fact that they actually painted the claws, but apparently not all the time. They have painted the toe claws, though, but not the dew claws, which, once again, is unfortunate. But they have at least painted the main toe claws, which is good. I honestly love this figure. At some point, once the weather brightens up, I do plan on doing some toy photography with all of my Hammond collection figures. I just need to find somewhere nice to actually do the toy photography. And this kind of Taurus will do some, will make a really nice model. For articulation, we have the mouth that can open pretty wide. Both um, parts of the mouth open together so you can't open them separately which is unfortunate but it's not ratcheted like the t-rex was so it's better the head attaches to the neck on a ball joint so it can look so it can look that far down with just this one joint and looking up basically just means it looking forward you get a little bit of side to side but not much um, the neck attaches to the body via another ball joint. So once again, you get a tiny bit of side to side, but not much. You get all the way up. You also get all the way down. So this ball joint mixed with this ball joint means it can look really far down and okay, sort of up. There's nothing in the torso. And the T-Rex had a torso joint like here. Um, so I'd have thought that with the Carnotaurus being its own scale, it might have done, but it's not. It doesn't. The arms are on swivel hinges so they can go back and forth. And you can also move them out to the side. The elbow is on the same hinge. So you get the bend at the elbow and that is also a swivel. I had mine with its arms positioned around the back because in reality that is all the Carnotaurus could really do with its arms. Uh, the legs attached to the body with the same sort of joint that the basic ones do. So you've got in and out movement and you've also got forward and back movement. So that's nice. They do, the legs do soft ratchet into multiple positions to sort of help with posing and balance. Which I appreciate ratcheting legs more than ratcheting jaws. The knee can be sort of fully straightened out and can be crouched and it's also a swivel. You've got the ankle which once again can be fully um, straightened out and then can then crouch and sort of do a crouch about that much once again if the knee would stop moving it can be a little bit of a swivel the foot can go well that's about as flat as the foot's going to go but it can go backwards like so so you can sort of make it look like it's taking a step the tail attaches to the body on a ball joint, so you get some nice wiggle waggle there. And this section of the tail is also a ball joint, because these are two different materials. This one is solid plastic, and this, the, at the tip of the tail, has the bendy wire in it, so it's like a rubbery material. I don't like bending uh, bendy wire parts, because over time the bendy wire can snap and it'll poke through the rubber so that's about it it's a really awesome figure i mean it's a hammond collection figure so of course it's going to be awesome uh one of if not the best hammond collection figure out there at the moment it looks amazing it pretty much looks exactly like the Carnotaurus in the film does 
and I love it. If you had a gyrosphere model that was big enough, you could easily recreate the scene from the film in photography where it's walking past it and looking in at Claire. Um, is it Claire and Franklin that's in the gyrosphere? Yeah, Claire and Franklin, when they're in the gyrosphere, you know, it's walking past and then it completely ignores them because it goes for the Sinoceratops. I hope we get a Sinoceratops Hammond collection because that would be cool to re fully recreate that scene. But the main one I'm looking forward to at the moment out of the ones that have been announced is the Therizinosaurus. I can't wait to get that one because I loved the Therizinosaurus in Dominion. But yeah, anyway, that's that. That's all I can really say about the figure. It's an awesome figure. 100% recommend it if you can find it. Um, but yeah, that's it really. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you all in the next video, whatever that'll be. Bye!